Before we even start the video, I want to give a shout out to all y'all that like the video before it even begins. You are the real members of Team Glossus and we appreciate that a ton. Yeah. I don't always lift weights, but uh, usually when I lift, it's uh, light. No, redo that again. Okay. I don't usually lift weight with... <laughs> I don't usually lift. <laughs> so freaking hard with one hand. <laughs> Yes. I'd like to start this video off in our uh, celebration here by congratulating you for getting out of prison. Good work, bro. You weren't supposed to say that, but cheers. But he, look how awkward you are right now. There's like 50 million kids around us. You know what would be a good video? What? If we both made a cringe uh, compilation of each other. Like a two minute or one minute cap. And then we just reacted to it. I feel like that'd be hilarious. Oh my, it's a famous YouTuber! There he is! What's going on here? Field trip? Buddy, you want to see what we got you? This is, this is K Ross. Uh, you might know him from um, Sven Press. 10,000 views. If you want a Sven Press, he's your guy. You're gonna want to extend your arms and squeeze. Uh, builds good size for your chest and overall strength. But, anyways, this is yours, number one, XOXO Valentine's Day. Awesome. And then we also got you uh, bacon. bacon, bro. That's legit bacon on a donut. Love you guys. Love you. Sometimes you gotta go with the OGs, the sprinkles. It just looks nice, nice and fluffy. And I get this apple fritter pecan. So we're, uh, we're carving up. There's bacon on this donut. Yeah, you gonna feed it to me or? Uh... <laughs> nah, nah, bro. Let's keep it PG. Right, right. <laughs> Try it. Got some sauces in there. Gloucester sand. Mm. Buddy. Butter. That's good to eat. That's good to eat. Good to eat. <laughs> good to eat. <laughs> That's how we do with glosses. Mm. Some heart and some bacon, bro. Give me some heart. Now have some bacon. We're not even gonna talk about the Super Bowl yesterday. So uh screw Patriots. Yeah, Peyton Manning blew it. <laughs> <laughs> This is a tough game of hockey last night. The boys, they lost the cup. But what can you do? And this is friggin' delicious, bro. It's friggin' soft. We're about to slam some chest. This is not deadlifts and donuts, this is chest and donuts. Boom! Rising. Legends. Rising pants. Hey, you don't even have the pump yet, dude. Let's go. All right, last zone, we're gonna stop filming because there's like a million little children around for whatever reason, but yo, ripper. So this has like white chocolates, brownies. Yo, I want that one. That's your 4K calorie donut, bro. Oh yeah. It was just so good, man. Time to get huge, man. 4K calories a day. All right, let's take it to the gym then, pal. Mr. Celio set. That's what they call me. Uh, Mr. Celio Gaines. The person who can bench press the second motion should be right now. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you know, you know what I'm saying though, right? Yeah, I got you. Oh man. But that those T-O. You already look more muscular with that T on. I know. Oh, this is light. What is it we play? Holy crap. <laughs> look at the speed. I see a bit of struggle in the face though. Like, oh yeah, well you have to treat it like. It's easy, but it's not that easy, you know? Well you have to treat it like it's 
your working set, right? That Knight Lavelle is a man, bro. Something about Knight Lavelle. Oh, yeah. Trees of the Valley? Oh, yeah, man. That's my favorite. We want to edit to that. Do it. Do this yeah. video. Yeah. Rain drop, drop top. Kyle, can I go to the spot? Yeah, man. I got you. This a ton. We're keeping our comp style bench, pin feet down, pausing everything. I just like it and I find it's easier to stay consistent. I'm supposed to start with that, slowly move to touch and go, slowly move to bounce off my chest. So just keeping it strict, I can actually measure how much progress I'm making. Blast it. Get it. Let's go. That's a wrap. Come on. Let's go. Did you put? Yeah, I just remember I did that. Oh, he did the entire set like that? Yeah. <laughs> Reiner. That a boy. There's very few things you can do to troll in the gym. Yeah. I like putting that there. Sometimes I'll put an extra 2.5 on for Kyle. I keep it fresh. If you get one of these fresh teas, go to the back. I know, I love it. Look at the swag here, bro. PHP, PHP, rising light. Am I the dedicated filmer now? Did I just walk myself into this? I know you saw me put that thought up in my damn pocket. No, you saw it. No, you saw it. I know you want this shit, but still I try to quickly lock it. Hype? Hype? I'm getting a phone call right now. Uh, wait, how do you, how do you Oh my god. How do you say no to phone calls? Is there a way to say Lock your phone. Oh, I didn't know that. Who called you? Your girlfriend? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Have you seen this? Really I'm filming it. What sauce are you on, pal? What sauce am I on? I'm on <laughs> sauce calories, man. Tell them what you're doing. Calorie intake from 3,000 to 4,000 calories. You got a lot of energy, feeling real good in the gym. Uh, putting on some muscle, putting on some strength. A little bit of fat, but I'm okay with it. And it's just time to grow, Rising Legends, man. Hit me? So like, normally we don't advocate that and we'd say it's done, you're gonna gain a ton of weight. But we've kind of been in a really long deficit. We just wanna fix our hormones, pad everything up. We got six more weeks of walking, so we wanna end it well. I'm a little lower than Kyle, but we both wanna just put on some weight, even if it's some fat. If you guys start walking versus cutting, you gain a ton of weight, that's okay. You're gonna gain more fat, we accept it. I'm gonna start dieting down. We're actually gonna have something to work off of as opposed to dieting off our previous package. Some reflex is gonna be unbelievable. But we're trying to get really strong in a moment, so. Let's go. But it's more just about pushing yourself to go heavy. Whereas the bench, we keep it conventional for competition. Let's hit it, boy. Butter. Get it. Up. Jump. 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 Jump.
Josh is doing bicep curls today. <laughs> Buddy, I should need my tank. Come on, give me something. Come on, get it, get it. <laughs> Try it. How are you gonna do them like that? I don't usually lift weights, but when I do, guys like this. Let's go! Oh my god. Hey guys, you might be wondering what is this title of the video about? So, a common question we get in a lot of videos, like it's happened in every single Q&A that uh, we did, but we actually didn't include it, but a lot of people ask, are you guys gonna take steroids? When are you gonna take steroids? And the simple answer is never. Um, Josh and myself care way more about our long-term health and you know we could easily hop on a bunch of gear like all these other fitness youtubers but like i said we care a lot about our long term as well as um it's really fun just pushing ourselves to our natural limit and we have a lot of potential to continue to grow naturally and just become stronger bigger so the closest thing i'm going to get to actual steroids right now is vitamin c which is vitamin calories increasing the intake um crushing the volume and just putting all these calories to use and i feel great man it feels like it's like steroids but it's just food and it's actually Buddy, nothing but hard free. work yeah so, Atta boy, yeah, let's man, get it. it. Wanna spot him, Kairos? Sure, yeah. Look at this guy on his phone. You come here to text or work out, pal? <sighs> let's go get it, get it. Bro, your head looks so small. Your arms look huge right now. Yeah. Push, 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 push. Oh, that's 10 pounds more, five more pounds on each side than I did last week, so. We're just increasing and making gains. All right, I'll take an extra five, yeah, pal. All right. <laughs> On a scale of one to five, how good looking am I? Kyle said Donald Trump, and he gave me a Caillou. I really just want to know if I'm in that range, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Solid six reps, straight line. The thing I've actually been huge on lately is six rep schemes. You'll see I put in a lot of my client work. So usually you think in a certain rep range, right? Like it's usually five or eight to 12 or something. I really like six because I find you're getting a respectful amount of volume, but you're still pumping some heavy weight. Sometimes when it's eight reps, it's just trying to move a heavy weight to fatigue before you actually, I don't know how to say it properly, but you tire out because of the weight. Like it's more so just a fatigue thing over a strength thing. And I find six, you can really push with heavy weight, but still get that respectful amount of volume. Try it out, it's a really fun rep scheme, especially for accessory compounds, like incline. So uh, I prefer not to match up with my boys, but apparently he likes it, so. Jeez, these are gonna be on the website soon. I think they're for athletes only. They sent them, like they're not on the site yet, but look out for these. Just so you guys know, all the other benches are taken and no one's using these racks. We don't usually do this in a friggin' rack, <laughs> so don't give us crap. And I only can use 75s, is all they have, but whatever. It means I got a couple extra reps. Good angle. Yeah? Oh yeah, you look juicy. <laughs> Do I, bro? Yeah, I think you're on the roids. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> case, case in point in this video. You look what modestly you, big. I look modestly big? Yeah. Or honestly big. Anyways, we're gonna be doing Arnold flies on normal flies. Normal flies will get a little bit of better, a eh, little bit of bit of bit, a little bit of this. However, with Arnold's, it's really about stretching out that chest nice and low. Now the negative here is you're gonna pin your elbow potentially, put too much stress and rip your pet. You want to avoid that by keeping it locked. So you can see this is me locking my elbow, this is me barely locking it. So I'm keeping some engagement with the bicep. I'm opening to this point. Do what you're comfortable with and do a lightweight, otherwise you will go to Snap City. However, if done correctly in a controlled manner, it's safe and it's a great stretch for the pec. The pec and pec. Ready? So this would be a normal fly per se, right? But for me, Legs open nice and low, not feeling any ripping. Feeling control. I think and then so. I'm hugging my elbows together. My forms off sometimes. I do things wrong. By squeezing the elbows, you get a better flexion with the chest as opposed to the hands. That's a set. 
Hey guys, so next up we are doing dumbbell skull crushers. I've got some 30s here. To be completely honest guys, I like dumbbells a lot more than barbells because I find it puts a lot less strain on my elbows. Make sure you're getting a full range of motion and really isolating that tricep. Let's get to it. That Rising Legend team makes you look swollen. Show them the variations, bro. Yeah, so sometimes we'll go like this, get a bit more tricep action, and then the next one this way. Work all them heads, bro. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres. I think that is. Troisième fois, por favor. <laughs> and then when I'm really burnt out, that was, I think, eight of them, we'll do some close grip. Just keep a lot of isolation on it, a lot of tension. That's a nice little super set. Now my triceps are burnt out. Yo, bro, where can I buy one of those fresh teas? Oh, one of these? And one of those. <laughs> www.colossusfitness.com. You know what? Support us, man. We appreciate it a lot. But anyways, guys, this gym is pretty packed, so we're going to fire up some tricep rope pushdowns and then some rear delts. You're not missing out on too much. A lot of people seem to not be getting notified from our videos, so please, please click that bell notified so you can watch our videos make sure to hit that subscribe button see you later guys peace what are those